Hello, hello, and welcome back for another day in paradise. You know, if your definition of paradise is a darkened, mildewed bunker beneath Walter White's old Winnebago, I guess. In Perfidious Pete plays Shelter. And, I, I mean, sure, paradise, even if this is your definition of it, is, is great and all, but I gotta say, paradise is kind of boring. The whole Cleaver clan last episode just sat around the bunker waiting for the cronies out in the world at large to do their bidding. And it sort of seems like the cronies might be doing even a better job than the Cleavers themselves. The Cleavers have turned the situation into like an, it's like an investment portfolio. I'm starting to feel a little like a hedge fund manager. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just sitting around waiting, but still enjoying some solid, fiscally conservative, low risk, steady, incremental growth. Yes, sir. It's like two and a half percent per quarter, right on the nose. No muss, no fuss, no emergency trading, no runs on the market. Just some good, smart investing with an eye towards long-term success. That's the method of House Cleaver. Which is complete bullshit. I mean, yeah, it's a great strategy if you're an investment banker, but stability doesn't really seem like a long-term viable option for a man like Wally Cleaver. He's the opposite of stable. He really is. He's the sort of guy who needs the occasional market collapse and people leaping out of windows to splatter on the pavement like water balloons full of meat. That's what Wally needs. He needs chaos. He feeds on volatility. He needs to chop the still beating heart from the chest of a man in a three-piece suit while he enjoys a three martini lunch. These are the things that Wally Cleaver requires. I don't know how he's going to thrive with this. Uh, uh, did I just leave? At some point, I have to remember that confirm does not mean take all. We just left all that stuff on the ground, and some of it was, you know, pretty good stuff. Yeah, that's uh, this is some suboptimal gameplay there. Not gonna lie. There were bullets, there were guns, there were chunks of mannequins. We could have probably really made something nice out of all that stuff, but instead, we got nothing. Hey, somebody uh, go water the plant. Just Donna, here, go, go fix that, and then you know what? Water it, just to make sure. Looks like we have the parts to upgrade a system. Yeah, no shit, Beef. Found something that should be this large house. Please let the photograph be the... <sighs> no photograph. So I'm guessing that quest then is just going to be uncompletable. We have shit the bed on that quest. There's uh, no redeeming it at this point. I don't have room for plastic, huh? Okay. Well, let's sort through our inventory a bit here and see what things we would like to keep and what things we want to get rid of. Probably the basil and the echinacea and the aloe vera. All of those things are going to go bye-bye. What would I rather have instead? Record player. Book and a teddy bear. We already have a bunch of books and teddy bears. I think I'll take the valve and these old shirts instead. You're going to leave echinacea, Pete. It's the world's nature's greatest healing plant. Echinacea and St. John's wort. Those can prevent any disease known to man. Eh, I don't buy into your holistic bullshit. I'm sorry. It is raining. Fantastic. That means it's expedition time. All right. Who wants to go on an expedition here? Who's looking a little ready? Oh, June Cleaver is just itching to get out of the bunker here. She's looking... Well, June always looking good. I mean, it's June Cleaver. Come on. She's always looking pretty good. But in this case, she not only looks good, she looks ready to kill. Helen is not yet loyal enough to go out, but we could send Donna, who's doing nothing and other than... You know, needing to pee a little bit and being a little dirty. She's all right. Take a shower, Donna, man. Cleanliness, godliness, those two things are right together. We're going to send Donna and June out into the wild. All right. Got both of you guys. Where do we want to go? Well, we could send them out to deal with the crazy man who's going to be upset that I left his photo on the ground now that that quest is uncompletable. But the smart money seems like maybe we would send them in the opposite direction. Do we want to have them go mess with the scalpers? No, we really don't. Not as a first time out. There is a trade caravan, though. What are you again? An arms dealer. A trade caravan and an... Okay. Let's try something we have not tried before. So we got some locations here. What if we do this? We haven't visited any of these lately. So what if we go bam, 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 bam. Like a Bigelow or, you know, a character from the Flintstones. Then we go to this unknown spot. Then we hit this large caravan here. Then we hit this place because we haven't been there. This church. Then we hit the arms dealer. Then we go... Uh, we're actually large house... Oh, we have people there now. 
Are you guys going to the arms dealer? Is that where I sent you? I honestly don't remember. Then we'll hit that, and uh, it's just like, we'll bounce through here on our way back. This is a really long trip. 81 water. That's a ton. Donna and June are going to be gone a while. I still feel pretty good about sending Donna and June out. They do have the rucksack. We should definitely equip that, and we want to make sure they've got good weapons. Donna, what's your strength at? I wish there was a way I could see stats from inside this screen. I really do. Donna, let's just give you your... Uh, I don't think you're a 9. You might be an 8, though. But the axe does so much more base damage, even with the lower... You know what? Take the hatchet. It's a... Uh, you know, somebody gotta be wielding the hatchet. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. We're definitely gonna give you... You know what? You don't get the nice purse. The nice purse? June Cleaver gets the nice purse. Thank you. You don't get... You don't... Uh, this June Cleaver's purse? You don't... You're taking June's purse? What the hell is wrong with you? I would also like to give you a tent of some variety, but I guess the tent is already in use. Uh, somebody must be using it. All right, well, just take your satchel, your gas mask, and your hatchet. Go forth and murder. June Cleaver, I know you're not strong enough for the hatchet, so we're just going to give you the more garden variety knife. Oh, man, I shouldn't have given June the rucksack. The rucksack's going to be way heavier. I should. Oh, she's going to get... The muscles in her legs are going to get all stringy and terrible, and she won't have those delightful calves that pop out so sexily when she puts on those stiletto heels. Instead, she's, they're just going to be all muscly and... Ugh. All right, that was a mistake. I probably should not have given... Yeah, I, in retrospect, I should have had a mind to uh, June's beauty needs. I really should have. I feel a little guilty about that one. I'm sorry, June. That was my fault entirely. I take full responsibility for your unpleasant-looking calves. We're going to get rid of this chunk of wood because it can be easily replaced by recycling those logs. And instead, I'm going to take these six burnt clothes. we got a lot of busted TVs, too. You know what? Let's trade one busted TV for a burnout laptop. I feel okay about that. We should oh, maybe get rid of that cement, too. Ah, it's probably fine. Okay, now we've got some recycling to do. Our storage is at max capacity. Laura has increased her perception. All of those things are good. Hey, Helen, we need you to do us a solid, though, if you would. With some wood, in fact. We got... Take this large... Can you just go build, like... Yeah. Just go build one gigantic storage bunker. That's really all I want. We need some more hiding spots. How many hiding spots do you want, Pete? Well, really, what I would like is four hiding spots. Of course, check it out, Charles. One for each of the cleavers. That's what we need. Four hiding spots, one per cleaver. A minimum of one spot. Per cle there is a fucking rat down here again. All right, it better get caught in this rat trap. Also, cat? What, what? We did catch one. All right, well, good. Clean the damn shelter ward. Wally, Beave, I know how you love, you know, playing with dead animals. Why don't you go harvest that rat trap? Where is the cat, by the way? Church has some stuff that might be useful. Take it. We have the laziest cat in the known world. It's it's the only cat we've ever seen that's like, rats? Nah, don't eat them. We have the, the world's only vegan cat. It's like, ah, you know, couldn't I just get some kind of like rice-based cat food? I really don't feel comfortable eating another living creature, Pete. That's kind of a dick move, man. It's kind of a dick move. What if I could just have like some rat and chicken gizzard parts left over from when, you know, Tyson was uh, making a delivery to the local KFC. Why do, why, why do I have to do that? Beaver harvested the rat trap just in time for us to harvest the rat trap again. Nice work, Beave. Way to supply meat for the family, buddy. Oh, there was a radio signal. Yeah, check out the pharmacy. It's fine. Ward. Okay. Wally got nothing for scanning. Is this done? That is done. Good. Now, it's time to recycle. Now that we have places to put the things we're recycling, first off, take the recycling. We're going to collect that two plastic. Fix the recycling machine, and then recycle. Let's start recycling some stuff. All right, we got a ton of stuff that needs to be recycled, too. So let's get to work. What do we want to get rid of? A lot of circuit boards. Rucksacks? No, those stay. Six old shirts, yes. This gives us nylon and rope. Fantastic. Busted old TVs. Plastic, circuits, fuses, wires, all things we need. Jar gets us lenses? All right, well, let's just make one big stack of jars, I guess. Um, get some metal. Wow, those recycle into hinges and pipes? That's fantastic, because pipes are something that we're desperate to get our hands on. 
How about a busted old laptop? Um, just pitch up a couple more old TVs in there. That's the most we can recycle. The queue is full. We've recycled unto the maximum. Man, somewhere Jeff Goldblum's character from Independence Day is really proud of us. He's like, Pete, that's some top-notch recycling, buddy. That's good work. You're saving the planet. Just like I saved the planet by fighting aliens, except you're doing it with less alien fighting and more, you know, sound ecological strategies for long-term reusability. Better check out the pharmacy, I suppose. Grab a can of food, pick up that nail, grab a log. Are we carrying valves? Yeah, take a circuit breaker. Sure. Metal? Yeah, why not? A lens? We probably are covered for lenses, really. Anti-radiation tablets are exceedingly useful. What would we abandon in favor of them? Well, I would abandon a sack of cement for those. Med kits? At this point, we probably don't need them. We have so many med kits sitting around that we're really not making use of at all. I'm I'm okay with leaving them. This is no, we're gonna abandon them. Fine. We're good. I think we're alright. What if somebody gets sick or injured, Pete? We have a whole hospital's worth of supplies if somebody gets sick or injured. We'll be fine. I don't know what Beeb is doing. He's just wandering around. He looks lost a little bit. Small house that's going to have some good loot. That's fine. Check it out. Who is this person? Maria, what are you doing wandering around up top around my bunker? This is my bunker. I don't really like a stranger just sort of wandering around unchecked in my territory. You know the cleavers are violent. How, okay, here's a serious question I have at this point about Sheltered. Yeah, you might as well take a look. But one serious question. So the Cleaver clan has murdered, uh, like, billions of people. The soil is soaked. Okay, well, that's bad, I guess. I honestly don't know. But the Cleaver clan, we, we've murdered ev everyone we've come across. Like, any stranger we've encountered at this point, either Wally or the Beave or one of our other Ur Cleavers, they've chopped their heads off. They, they've hacked them into haggis. Some of them we have lured into our bunker and literally devoured and eaten. I mean, we have literally hacked some of them into actual haggis. How come we don't have a reputation yet? That's what I want to know. Why does the Cleaver family not have a reputation as being a bunch of, like, stay the hell away from them, they're murderous, crazy, lunatic thugs? How have we not picked up a little street cred yet? Why are people not living in fear of the Cleavers? That's what I want to know, because it sort of seems like people should be living in fear of the Cleavers. Be like, no, man, you can't, you can't go over there. That's where the cleavers are. Haven't you heard of House Cleaver? Their words are cruelly sharp, and they adhere to those words. They're monsters, every last one of them, an irredeemable, unbelievable, unholy killer. That Wally guy, he'll just chop your face off. He doesn't give a single shit, man. He will completely dissever you and not care at all. Help, I'm being chased by, by something. Let me in, please. I need somewhere safe to stay. Your stats are pretty good. She's fast, she's smart, she's strong, relatively charismatic, not that perceptive, because, you know, she might have otherwise been able to identify the thing that's chasing her. She's like, I'm being chased by something because I'm really nearsighted, and I can't tell. Could be an orangutan, could just be a really short Danny, like a hairy guy. Like, a, it could be Danny DeVito, for all I know. We're at max capacity on oxygen. I gotta say no, Maria, I'm sorry. Everybody, like you know, the people in our bunker, they like to breathe. Breathing is important. And uh, if we let you in, I, I gotta say, the opportunities for breathing are gonna be, you know, reduced. I can't really reduce breathing opportunities. This is one thing we cannot reduce. Sure, go chop a stranger up. See, this is exactly how we're gonna be spreading our reputation, too. Everyone we meet, we try to bully them. Hey, is that your blood? Well, it's gonna be. We're gonna bully. Just once, I would like to see the bullying actually work. Just once, I would like to see a, somebody go, You know what, House Cleaver? No, I recognize this woman. This is that June Cleaver. She's the matriarch of House Cleaver. Her womb is the one that spawned Wally and the Beave on the world. The men who have butchered a thousand transients in the apocalypse. This is the woman who brewed them in her belly. I cannot fight this woman. She's gonna be, she's an indomitable clan matriarch. I should surrender my goods to her and just beg and plead and pray that she lets me escape with my life. But instead, nope, and hee <laughs> hee, I see a meal with a mouth. And it won't take long to cut that out. That's some Wally Cleaver style dialogue right there, and that's real creepy. Alright, let's do this then. Is any cutting to be done? I'll be the one with the blade. Cruelly sharp are the words of House Cleaver. I'm a fucking gut you like a lamb roast, bitch. 
All right, let's do this. Actually, Jude Cleaver may never even get the opportunity because I'm pretty sure Donna's just gonna hack this woman's head open with a hatchet. She made a really, really good start. Let's see if we can just subdue her. A crazy ass. Oh, nope, should have just gone for the regular stab, I guess. Uh, you came over and tried to disarm the hatchet. Fairly clever strategy, but unfortunately for you, not enough. All right, do you know what, June Cleaver? Steal from her. We stole some antibiotics and uppercut her like a bitch, which killed her. Yeah, see what happens when you talk smack to June Cleaver? She walked up, takes your medicine, and then laughs while you die. She also upgrades her strength a little bit. So both of our people are wielding... Well, no, June is strong enough for the knife, but Donna is a little under strength for that hatchet. It's fine, really, though. Being one under is not the end of the world. Small petrol station has some stuff that might be useful. Probably some stuff lingering on that woman's corpse that we could have made off with, but this is fun, too. How much meat have we got in the freezer, by the way? Also, somebody go fix the freezer. B, that seems like a you job. How hungry are you? <sighs> Wally, yeah, this is just uh, fix that. And then Wally, could you feed the cat? I don't know why I keep feeding this cat. I really don't. He's supposed to catch mice in the bunker, but I think we all know that's a bald faced lie. That cat hasn't caught shit. Probably because he, he's too fat and then lazy. This, we're overfeeding him. That's the problem. Cross paths. Yeah, you should get involved. We got to do something about our cat's diet. We're that That's the problem. We're overfeeding him. He's not chasing rats because he's never hungry, ever. He'd be like, nah, you know what? I can just go over here by this bowl and squall for a couple hours. And eventually somebody will chuck some food in it. Chasing rats? Too much work, dog. Too much work. Hey, buddy, don't you walk on by. Uh, is your name Susan or is your name Roy Orbison? Don't you walk on by. Or arguably, are you just doing the soundtrack from The Breakfast Club? Pretty woman. Don't pass me by. Um, let's... Yeah, you know what, Francis? Let's... I think Charles will just straight up cut her head off with the hatchet. Let's have you start things up, and if we need to... Looking for a place to crash? Don't suppose you got a spare bed. Nope, don't have one at all. Don't think you'll fit in, because you suck. You'll regret you didn't let me into the group, you'll see. Well... Um, you're going to breathe up somebody more important's oxygen, so I don't think I'm going to regret it. Also, you should never threaten a cleaver. Again, how is our reputation not spread beyond the soil is dry? Man, this guy, okay, Joyce, you want to water the plant? Growing these vegetables takes a lot, a lot of work. Something of interest out here. It looks like a person in need. Well, it's not really part of the house cleaver credo to help people in need, but I mean, I suppose we could give it a go. First time for everything. Welcome to my trade caravan. I have a lot of good stuff at the moment. Please take a look. Let's see if we can sort out a deal with you. What do you got? Binoculars. Yeah, I'll take them. They're, they're one thing that we do not have. I also want this old laptop. What else you got? Uh, I will take your fuse and also your switch. You have 11 pieces of rubber. I'm going to take all of those. Anything else we want? Mm, not really. What's our total here? 81. We should have no trouble covering 81 in value. How much is a gas mask worth? Only 10. I would have suspected they'd be worth more. Uh, why can I not take that back? Revert. Shit. It did everything. Alright, fine. Give me my binoculars back. Use, switch. Want your old laptop. All of this rubber. Is that everything? That's pretty much everything we want. Ah, what are we going to trade? Uh, probably fuel exclusively. Let's get rid of one whole stack of fuel. Anything else? We're carrying around just two hatchets. Hatchet trade's pretty good. I might fork over a hatchet here. We need 21 in total trade value. Fuel's so easy to get, though. Also, water is worthless. Let's throw all our water at him. Need something that trades for three. Uh, how about a bag of limestone? Oh, you know what? Here, give me some of this water back and take all this limestone. I don't want this shit. Give me my water back. Take my limestone and give me back my water. Now we've over-sweetened the deal. We gotta take something back to make it a fair trade. Oh, we can't. We're at the maximum limit unless we have an item that will stack. 
Ah, this is fine. We'll let her get the bow. I mean, we could just do this. Fine. You know what? I'll take this sack of limestone back and just throw it on the ground. Your inventory only has room for one more item. Ah, this is the problem. All right, well, let's revert this. I just want the binoculars then. Here's two cans of fuel. Inventory is already full. Well, now you're just being a pain in the ass, game. Fine. Here, take all of this limestone, which I didn't want anyway. We don't really need these pliers. Oh, pliers trade pretty good. All right, I'll take back one sack. Two sacks? One sack of limestone. And I give, give me your binoculars. And I really want this old laptop, too. But we got to make... We don't have room for the old laptop. No, we do have room for the old laptop. Now we don't. Ah, fine. Get rid of... You know what? Just to make room, fine. I'll give you the limestone. This is how a good merchant operates. I'm throwing in... This is a value add for you. Just because I like you, Sarah, I'm going to throw in a sacra, an extra sack of limestone for free. You get an extra bag of limestone just because I like the cut of your jib. I like the look on your face. I also like the fact that you didn't force me to kill you for no reason. That was, you know, it was very nice of you. Found something at the school, sure. Take everything that isn't nailed down. We already have a chisel, I'm sure. We'll probably ultimately wind up throwing that on the ground or trading it. Do we have a chisel? We definitely have a chisel. How are the plants looking? Pretty good. Soil's moist. So that's good. Moist soil is good soil. That's my operative theory. Wally, you're not getting food, are you, Beef? Yeah, no, Beef. Get, 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 damn it, Beef. Can't you eat the meat? We got a whole freezer full of meat. Nobody's eating it. Forest has some good loot. Okay, who else is potentially in the market for a meal? Helen, you are potentially in the market for a meal. Why don't you go eat some meat? No, don't eat that food. Eat the meat, Helen. Something at the large house. Are we interested? Well, from the looks of things, the answer to that question is probably no. I don't really eat any of this junk. Some of it we can carry, so of course we're going to take it because we steal everything that isn't nailed down. That's just how this game works. Anything we can haul away, we will haul away. Don't I have a stack of records? Sure, we could probably pop that up. We should also build a record player. Now that we have a stack of records, I also have old shirts. We'll get those too. How about we do that? Hey, Helen. Oh, you're, you're busy eating. Uh, Ward? Oh, plants look. Soil's moist. Good. Go craft an item for me. Uh, I would like a record player. What tier is that in? Tier 3, maybe? Little music, soothe the savage beast, charm the soul. We should also probably try and build a coffee machine once we get some pipe out of the recycler. We can build a sculpture if we have 20 rocks. I thought rocks were completely useless. Oh, how wrong I was. Now, there's a jukebox. This is what goes with records, right? Requires records and a lot of electricity. It also takes a shitload of wiring and a bunch of crap we don't have. If I'm going to use wiring for anything, I'd use it to build more solar panels, so I guess we'll have to be without music for the nonce. Which is, you know, really sort of fine. Also, an efficient toilet would be real nice, as would the efficient shower. But again, we're short pipes. Come on, June Cleaver. You don't want to lay me? You want to let me lay some pipes in here? All right, then. You're not even in a bunker. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you are. I just miss her so much when she's gone. It feels good to talk to someone. I'm not taking this bag of sand. I'm not going to force June Cleaver to haul old heavy bags of sand around the wasteland. I'm already worried about the status of her calves. The stilettos are a big part of the attractiveness of June. Are you done? No. Is that thing that broken? No, it's 100% integrity. Oh, holy crap, the time left on this is like a half an hour. Good sweet lord, it's going to take forever to recycle that crap. We should build another recycling center, really. Small house out in the wasteland. Yeah, better go check it out. How are I, uh... Oh, we need to fix those. Joyce, grab a hazmat suit. You're on, uh, repair duty. Laura? I mean, I could make you go harvest the trap, but instead I think I'm just gonna have you wander around and fix some stuff. Fix that. When you're done, fix that. Probably need to add some fuel to that generator as well. Yeah. And I think we'll talk to this stranger, and that's where we're going to wrap things up. And again, we've got hedge fund manager growth going here. It's just a steady 2.5% per quarter. And right now, there's some hedge fund manager out there going, Dude, if you got 2.5% stable growth per quarter, you would be the greatest all-star in the financial environment. You would be a Wall Street wizard like Leonardo DiCaprio in that movie. They'd call you the Wolf of Wall Street. 
Except not in a scumbag you stole from a lot of people and destroyed their lives and ruined their retirement kind of way, but in like the good way. Be like, man, you, you'd be like Wixter Wolf in Pulp Fiction, except with less murderous stashing of bodies and trunks of cars that are about to be smashed. I've been threatened by some of the best, and that, that was pitiful. Re really? What does it take to actually bully someone? What does it take to make somebody capitulate? You are in very real physical danger. Well, yeah, because Don is going to split your head open with a hatchet. June Cleaver is going to do a little bit of shanking. Ooh, you countered June Cleaver. Bravo, my dear, bravo. And it's not going to save you. See, not even come close. Was, was I kidding about the very real physical danger, Dan, Janet? Damn it, Janet, you should have listened. But no, no, you had to be, oh, it's fine. I'm sure we can go up to this weird abandoned house. Nothing untoward's going to happen here. Definitely won't be a weird mad scientist with a proclivity for dressing in uh, sexy lingerie up here. Definitely won't happen. We won't have to listen to like five musical numbers from Meatloaf. There's no way that guy's inside. All right, combat resolved with a resounding victory. And on that triumphant note, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to hear a more dank-ass little... Well, wait, wait. Uh, what's the name of that movie? Shit, I went for the reference and then totally dropped it. How can I not forget Rocky Horror Picture Show? How did that slip my mind? I tell you, the senility is real, folks. Senility is real. Anyway, for the dankest Rocky Horror Picture Show references although completely busted as they were, and now I just look like a fool. Want to see me look like a fool? Subscribe. Regular basis. Happens. Yeah, it does. Especially when your mind is going like mine. The senility makes you forget things. Like how to properly end an episode. I'm just blabbering. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Uh, hopefully with some Alzheimer's meds in my bloodstream. <laughs>